What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. And this time we are continuing my companion guide series where we take an in-depth look at every follower in the game. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your hub for daily Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm sharing my companion guide for Dogmeat, who is found very early in the game and can be one of the most, if not the most, powerful companions to have with you. So in this video we'll discuss how to get Dogmeat, what his stats are, how his affinity works, and also how to obtain his companion related perk because he is truly unique in that department. Now there isn't a lot of background info for Dogmeat, but Mama Murphy tells us that he traveled with Preston Garvey's group and then was sent out to look for help when they were trapped at the Museum of Freedom in Concord. Apparently Dogmeat already knows Nick Valentine and this is something you'll find out through the story and they have apparently already worked together before the player meets them, which sounds a little bit silly to me, but apparently that's also the case. Dogmeat is originally located waiting outside of the Red Rocket truck stop near Sanctuary. I'm not showing you where it is because this is very obvious. It's near the very beginning of the game and you really shouldn't miss it. Of course, you can decide completely to skip that and not even go get Dogmeat. However, if you continue the main quest, again, Nick Valentine will kind of introduce you to Dogmeat at that point and then you will meet him. Another quick side note, if you lose track of Dogmeat and you sent him to Sanctuary Hills or any kind of settlement, make sure you check all of the dog houses. That's kind of a place that Dogmeat will hang out. So if you've lost track of him, he will be hanging out in a dog house. And honestly, Sanctuary has like four dog houses. So really kind of check around the area and make sure if you've lost him, that's probably where he is. Dogmeat's special spread is 4, 14 perception, 4, 4, 9, 14 agility, and then four luck for a total of 53 total points. And honestly, like I said before, I'm not really sure that these matter so much. Dogmeat has high perception, but you know, a lot of characters really do, and then high agility, but I'm not sure that really affects the way that he works in the game. It's just kind of something interesting to know. And he has 150 carrying weight, so that's normal across all companions, unless, you know, there's a special case there. Dogmeat is normal in that respect, and he's also immune to radiation, which is weird to me. I think dogs are immune to radiation. That's like a Fallout lore thing, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's also the case for Dogmeat. Also, for some reason, he seems to have five ranks of sneak, and every other companion seems to only have four ranks of sneak. And for some reason, he kind of shows up as invisible when the player is sneaking. And I don't know about this, honestly, Dogmeat does seem to mess up a lot of sneaking situations. He runs into mines and whatnot. So if I were you, I would take that information with a grain of salt. You know, all companions have pretty bad AI in this game. It's not the best. So, you know, Dogmeat can still ruin some sneak situations for you, even though he does have the highest rank of sneak of all the companions. In terms of affinity, normally your companions react to everything you do and they kind of judge you and that's how you gain their respect. That's not the case with Dogmeat. He starts at a maximum affinity level and doesn't react to your actions at all. He's really the only companion that is truly neutral. Just like a dog, he loves you no matter what you do. Even if your player is a dick, incredibly mean, or just super generous, you know, Dogmeat will always be there. And a lot of people like that about Dogmeat. He doesn't open his mouth, he doesn't care, he doesn't judge you. There's no little pop-up that says Dogmeat didn't like that or anything. He is silent, he has nothing to say, and a lot of people like that about this companion. With that being said, there's no companion affinity perk because there's really no affinity with Dogmeat. However, there is a special perk that's in the perk chart, which is completely unique and Dogmeat's the only one that has a you know specifically designed perk for him and that is attack dog which requires four charisma it's not a huge investment into charisma if you're not playing a charisma type character and essentially with each rank Dogmeat can hold an enemy that's the first rank and then he has a chance to cripple the enemy and then finally he has a chance to cause them to bleed which is pretty awesome also if you collect astoundingly awesome tails that will also reduce damage dealt to him you know specific issues of that will give you that extra perk as well. Unfortunately, something to watch out for is that Dogmeat will get stuck on certain items and you might have to guide him through the world. It's a little annoying. I really wish there was a way to whistle the Dogmeat to teleport him right to you, but sometimes it's annoying because you don't know where he is and then he's not effective in combat and that makes Attack Dog useless. So try to make sure you've got Dogmeat next to you at all times. 
Another huge plus side to having dog meat is he doesn't act as a companion. He doesn't count as a companion when you're using the Lone Wanderer perk. So essentially, if you plan on rolling with dog meat a lot, then Lone Wanderer is totally worth your time. It's very strong. It requires three charisma, so if you have attack dog, you obviously have access to Lone Wanderer no matter what. And you take less damage and increase your carry weight with the first two ranks, and the final rank will increase the damage that you do by 25%. Let me repeat that, that's 25%. Some of the companion affinity perks for other characters give you that kind of damage in specific situations. This is all the time, and you have dog meat rolling with you. And unfortunately, I would say dog meat is not the best in combat situations. I don't know, he does tackle some enemies, but he's not gonna do, I don't know, I don't think he's just as effective as other companions with guns. But still, you're getting these own bonuses for your own character. Most of the damage you're gonna be dealing across the board to enemies is gonna be from you and not from your companion. So I just think it's incredibly strong to have this combination. Finally, you can equip certain items onto dog meat, although they're purely cosmetic. So you can equip dog collars, dog armor, muzzles, bandanas, and goggles, and he will wear them and he looks like a very cute little dog. So these don't have any effect, unfortunately. They provide no stat boost or bonus or effect, no extra protection or anything. That comes from the perks, and that's where you're gonna get the strength with dog meat. So these are purely cosmetic. Don't worry about getting these. You don't need them, but if you want dog meat to look like a certain way, then of course you can go out and find them. So after watching this video, I'd like to know, will you use dog meat? Will you get him to roll around with you in the Commonwealth? And is he the best companion available? Honestly, I think there's an argument to be made for that just because of Lone Wanderer. Attack Dog is okay. You don't even have to take Attack Dog. You can still bring Dog Meat with you and take Lone Wanderer and be really, really powerful. But honestly, he might be the best. The only downside for me is that he doesn't talk. He doesn't have an attitude. That's something I like out of my companions. Obviously, he's a dog. He's not going to be like, you know, make like a disapproving grunt or anything because, you know, he can't think like a human or a synth or whatever, you know, other kind of companions you can bring with you. But essentially, Dog Meat is super duper powerful. Let me know what you guys think about him. In the comments below. All right, guys, today I shared my companion guide for dog meat in Fallout 4, and next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos, and remember that this is your hub for Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button, I would really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe for more unique weapon guides, build guides, mod videos, and general tips and tricks. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.